Hello guys, hello YouTube, how are you guys? Are you ready for the for this tutorial? Watch till the end. Today we are gonna do um, forest cabin. Let's just get started. I have Blender here and we do not need to delete the default cube. So I'm just gonna leave that here and let's change a little bit the dimensions for it. Oh, maybe it's gonna be a little bit more bigger. Let's say we are going for six meters on y-axis and 8 meters on x-axis just like that and z let's say 3 meters it's 3 meters is fine 1.5 on z-axis that's exactly the the middle point so in this way it's gonna stay right on the on the grid now maybe i'm gonna enter into edit mode i'm gonna put an edge loop around here let's select the polygons and I'm gonna do something like that so what I'm doing with uh, this shape is just gonna give me an idea of uh, size for the cabin like now I can just apply the scale just to be sure but it's not so important and let's also save okay now we need to to add some details to, to it is not just gonna be simple like that so I'm gonna move this cube around here then I'm gonna scale it let's say like that let's move a little bit the things around here so um, let's say that's gonna be two meters I scale it on y-axis just like that and then let's apply the scale shift D moving on z-axis just around here like that now I can join the geometry and maybe I'm gonna apply a bevel modifier but that's too much it's going just too much I need it smaller let's say like that it's fine one level of uh, one segment it's fine we do not need much more details okay so I put the planks here I just duplicated the, the object Two more times and now we can enter into edit mode let's enable uh, uh, to see through then I'm gonna move the planks something like that maybe this one it's gonna be around here let's say just small like that and this one is gonna stay somewhere in the middle of uh, them but not exactly the middle of it so maybe a little bit more down just like that things are fine now so I can select all of them then Control J so I join the, join the geometry now I can apply an array modifier I don't like exactly where it's going so I'm gonna put a line here like a minus so let's see how many times I need to put the array on so I'm gonna scale just a little bit on x-axis just like that so it's fitting my shape just like that pretty good and now I have the the basic shape of it let's also save and let's apply the scale just like that now I can get on top view and shift D moving on Y axis I can go around uh, here already then duplicate one more time I'm gonna rotate the whole wall 90 degrees on Z axis just like that and I'm gonna put it somewhere around here let's see exactly where the things are fitting hmm, pretty good this one is gonna have less counts for array I'm gonna scale a little bit on Y axis just like that just a little bit more like this and apply the scale perfect so with this I can move on X axis just around here and I need to do something like that so it's overlapping on this area but I guess I have to do it ah yes it's fine and then I'm, I'm gonna scale on Y axis until it's fitting this area just like that it's pretty good so we already got some some shapes going on so it's not just a flat surface but we are having some wood 
as it's a it's a cabin lost in the forest something like that then I'm gonna add a cube okay perfect and let's see I'm gonna fit it right around here so something like that scale on Z axis pretty good I'm gonna scale also on Y axis let's apply the scale okay so it's all fine that's gonna be like a, a stone slab but we need some more details to it also maybe I can hide the the cube that we just created first that was just use a, used as a shape so we can see exactly where we are putting the things how it it's gonna stay uh, then I will add the bevel modifier of course it's too big and maybe I'm gonna enter into edit mode and add some edge loops five here two here and three here should be pretty fine now I'm gonna add the displacement uh, modifier let's add a new texture to it I'm gonna go to to texture panel and change it to clouds pretty good now we need to change the strength so something like that so it's just smaller maybe I can shade it smooth but one thing that I'm I want to show you as as of now if I'm moving it the noise is not changing and that's because uh, the coordinate uh, coordinates are set on local now because it's in global if I'm moving the slab the noise is changing and that's pretty good because if we leave it on, on global and then we array every single thing let me just change the axis of array like that even though I'm having multiple objects they're having the same noise so they are repeating too many times and they shouldn't do that instead if I'm going for global they should have a different texture and also the displacement modifier is gonna be last something like that and now the noise it's different for the whole object that's pretty good so let's apply the bevel modifier first off it's fine then I can apply also the displacement modifier but for the moment I guess I'm gonna leave it like that because I want to duplicate it first off let's move a little bit the things around here so the slabs are going a little bit more outside let's scale it also on y axis around here just like that pretty fine I'm gonna save then I am gonna duplicate I am, I'm moving it on y axis just like that let's change the array here because I want the array to go on x axis so minus one just like that too many arrays just a little bit lower I'm gonna scale a little bit just like that now I can duplicate it shift D Y and as we can see it's still keeping the, the same attribute so the noise is changing it's not gonna be the same on this side with this side now I'm gonna duplicate rotate on Z axis 90 degrees just like that let's align the slabs here also maybe that's gonna be a little smaller just like this let's also shade them smooth okay so we got the base shape maybe now we are gonna go for uh, the roof so we bring another cube just like that let's move it around here I'm gonna get the shapes going on just like that apply the scale okay I'm gonna duplicate because I want to make some differences into them shift D Z okay or maybe sorry I'm gonna select both of them going on Z axis just like that and I'm gonna move them I'm just gonna make an offset something like that now I can join everything and I guess I'm having I'm having a uniform scale which it's good just like that they are all joined maybe I can add also for them a bevel modifier now that's too much something like that 
I'm going to change the rotation to individual objects and rotate them on X axis, something like that. Should be fine. Now we can put an array modifier. Okay, we have one, but we still need another one to go up. So the second one is going to have a factor on Z axis, just like that. One, let's see how it looks with one. They are matching. Yes, they are pretty much matching, which is fine. I can align the whole thing here. So let's see one more time. Something like that, maybe a little bit bigger. Let's apply also the scale. So that's gonna be like the taller roof, roof part. Let's also rotate on X axis, just like that. A little bit on Z axis. Now I'm gonna duplicate and rotate it on Z axis 180 degrees. <clears throat> now that's gonna be a little bit smaller, so 10 arrays for it. Rotate on X axis. Um, let's see, something like that, or maybe 9. Okay, N 9 it's good. That's the shape that we are getting. I'm still saving. <laughs> now I can apply both of the arrays here and also here and we need to make some adjustments. I'm gonna select both of the objects then enter into edit mode. I'm gonna press one so I go into vertex selection mode and I'm gonna select only the, the, the outside of the planks just like that. So. All the points are selected now, which is fine. I can just press S, then scale on X axis. Let's see how much. So that's perfect. Okay, so now with the roof, we can also cover these parts around here. So first off, let's think of uh, some bigger wood panels. Like, let's say I'm gonna scale this just like that pretty fine let's see how uh, big they are so 15 should be fine or 0 0.5 mm, that's too less 0 0.1 okay this should be good I'm gonna apply the scale let's position the, the things around here so just something like that maybe I'm gonna scale a little bit that the pole here so it's fitting then GX so it's pushing a little bit outside, just like that, so it's visible. Also, let's apply the scale because I scaled it on Z axis also. Maybe I'm gonna apply also a bevel, a small bevel for, for it. Won't be a problem, just like that. Maybe two segments and shade with auto smooth. I'm gonna go for shading here into the modifier and we need harder normals, just like that. So it's gonna look much more better. Then shift D, move on Y axis around uh, here. Let's say, then I'm gonna select both of the poles here. Then shift D and move on X on the other side. So they are also going around here like that. A little bit lower, just like that. So it's getting inside the stone. It's fitting right, right there. And also I'm gonna copy this and duplicate rotate on uh, x axis 90 degrees just like that and let's position this in the middle up around here then i'm gonna scale on y axis let's see how much until this point this should be fine i'm gonna apply the scale also let's go on the other side also with it just like that then I'm gonna do some planks here to, to cover up this part because it shouldn't be open. Again we bring up not a plane but a cube just like that. So first off we, we are getting the right shapes going on. Maybe I'm gonna leave the x-axis to zero just like that and push it up. Like this I'm gonna scale on x-axis Till it's fitting the, the roof just like that a little bit less thicker just like that and something like this I'm gonna scale then uh, 
I will put this around here. Let's get also an array which is gonna go on Z axis. Perfect. Now it's not visible exactly where, where they are separating, separating because uh, I don't have a bevel modifier, I don't have an edge to, to make that visible. So that's why I'm adding a bevel modifier so now it's much more visible where every single plank it's going. So just like that I solved uh, this issue now. I'm gonna select this part. Let's select edges. I'm gonna duplicate this edge. P to select that. Then go into edit mode for this edge. Maybe first off I'm gonna move it a little bit backwards. Just like that. Then let's extrude. And I'm gonna extrude until this point. Let's edit the the vertices just like that so you're going around here a little bit more just like that and you are gonna stay here now i can go back to edges and extrude let's also adjust these parts just like that so it's pretty good i can duplicate it and put it on the other side also <coughs> shift d x okay so around here now I'm gonna put the cursor right around here, then I'm gonna add another cube so we add a little bit more planks around this area here. Let's see which scale it's looking good for this, something like that. Let's apply the scale modifier also, now I can get into edit mode and just play with the things. That's gonna go upwards to a point like that. Then I can add one edge loop around here, press Ctrl B, that's gonna add a bevel, but because the thing is just straight, it's gonna add two edge loops instead of one. Or many if you are just scrolling the wheel and you are adding more edge loops. But in this case two, it's just fine. It's pretty much enough. Scale on Y axis to a point like, like this. And let's play a little bit with uh, how they are positioned. Something like that. If I check individual, no, it's not helping me. I'm gonna have to do that by myself. Okay, so I'm gonna scale then position that around here. Now I'm gonna rotate this plane. Scale without x axis, so it's pretty much the same scale. Rotate that also something like that and also i'm gonna add a bevel modifier the bevel is too much for the moment so just something like that let's duplicate also this and add it on the other side just like that okay so that's pretty good but we need some randomness into it because the planks are all just straight like that and we need to add some wear and tear to to all the things so the bevel modifier it's gonna stay but the array modifier can be applied and also here later on we are gonna add also some booleans because we need to add a door to it and uh, some windows so we need to apply first of the array modifier then do that also so i'm gonna apply for all of them the array modifier also here and in the back too just like that, maybe I'm gonna add also some randomness around here, but uh, I see, yes, I applied the modifier. Apparently I forget that I applied the ray modifier there. And now we are just gonna play a little bit with the shapes, like I can go into the side view. Let's go to points. I'm gonna set this to random and let's select random vertices around here, just like and also maybe I'm gonna keep shift pressed so they're all gonna be selected. Now let's take a look from the side and G, Y. Just like that so they are not all straight. Some of them are moved around. It's a small detail and we need to make that for all of them. Maybe what I can do for a faster approach. I'm just gonna select everything from here and let me see if I'm having something like checker deselect select random 
something like that with a smaller ratio just like that let's see now gx okay so it's a small detail that we can do with the, with the geometry so i'm selecting everything also from here then i go to select select random and it's set to to deselect so it's gonna deselect what it's what it was already selected g y okay and then yes that's fine maybe if i'm enabling cavity that's much more visible what's happening like you can see how the things are looking now it's a little bit more random it's not like the perfect surface because everything in real life is not 100 percent perfect even if you are doing like real estate renders if you are doing photos in reality there's gonna be something like let's say 95 percent perfect still something is gonna be but if, if you are doing renders everything is gonna be perfect there so our our eyes are not gonna buy that like oh yes that's real we are just pretty much used to to an imperfect uh, world and when we are seeing something that's perfect we are just like mm, there has to be something going on with that okay so that's with the planks here so i can do the same for uh, this and this and of course maybe i'm gonna select both of them and then select all the vertices around here just like that maybe also the ones on the edge <coughs> and then select random deselect maybe a bigger ratio just like that gz okay okay i guess that's fine perfect that's just perfect so now we can do the booleans and uh, we can do them first of by let's let's take a cube cube you are going here and so a door is gonna be like let's say 90 when we can go for 95 but of course that's centimeters so because we are in the meters we are gonna go for 0 0.95 that's exactly the measure for 95 centimeters then on x-axis it it's not really mattering 2.1 for the z-axis that's uh, 2 meter and 10 centimeters which it's pretty much the, the size of a door for a single place door if you're going for a double door then you're going for like 180 maybe or 2 meter on 2 meter and 10 something like that this should be the the dimension of a real door and now i see that's fitting right on the edge around here and i do not like that exactly how it's happening because i'm gonna have this small part of geometry maybe i i will lower this number just a bit so let's go with 90 just like that it's a little bit much more bigger okay let's apply also the scale just to be sure now i can go for uh, boolean select the cube that i've just created maybe fast is gonna help me much more let's see what we are getting okay so here it's full but here it's empty exact it's doing this all in this sort of a thing okay so i solved that i'm gonna apply wait what then we need to take a look here for clamp overlap we are having some overlapping issues here but it's a small thing it's not gonna matter so much just like that and so for the door we can go for a simple thing like blender it's already coming with an add-on which it's called um, Archimesh. Also, let's apply the scale like that. So we can make use of that, or maybe we can make our um, our door. But let's see how uh, the things are working with this. I'm gonna select the empty around here, so in this way I I can move around the door, so I can get it lower, just like like that, something like that and then i need to go into the panel okay so with the door selected now we are getting uh, these options here right into the property panels around here so we can just play with these things but first off 
I need to rotate it from here. Yes. That's just much better. So we can take a look now, maybe something like that 91. Let's say it's overfitting a little bit the, the panel there. Then we, we can play with the frame just like that. Let's see. That's fine. Thickness, maybe I'm gonna leave it around here. It's gonna open from the left. Now we are having many more models just like that, but we cannot go for a modern type. So maybe I, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave it just like that. Handle something simple. That's too much. Mm, maybe that's fine. Just like that. So as I said, we can we can also create ours uh, our model, but we can keep also this. Maybe I'm, I'm just gonna do something like that. Let's also save and let's get some windows. And for the windows, we are gonna do the the same thing. Maybe we are gonna get a model. We are looking through. First of, let's get a cube. So here you go. Then let's look into the dimensions of it. So on Y, two meters. I guess it's fine. Or maybe I'm gonna go for a smaller type. 1.5 with two meters. No, let's say one meter, not on X, but on Z. Just like that. GZ. Okay, so that's gonna fit 1.7, 1.5. It's just much better. Just like that. I'm gonna apply also the scale and let's move it around. Let's say here it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna move it also on the other side. So let's see exactly where it's fitting something like that. Now I can join the geometries around here and just select again this, then uh, add another bevel modifier. With this selected, also let's delete this because we, don't, uh, we do not need that anymore. Let's see how we are gonna solve this here. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to hold tolerance. So it's solving everything. Just like that, I'm gonna apply. Everything looks good. We can also unhide this, then select and delete everything from here. Let's uh, just press Shift A. We are going to mesh, Archi mesh, and let's see panel window, just like that. So I'm gonna position it around this area, then going on Y, just like that. Let's go back to to this. We are having the window panel. Let's rotate also this 90 degrees. So we are going for wood with wood. Okay, so something like that. Let's also make this thicker like that. And let's play with the dimensions. Let's see where I'm having the... So I'm pulling that around here. That's also gonna be 30, just like that. And let's see how much is gonna fit. Okay, I need to select the empty for, for that to be moved around, just like that. Now I'm selecting back the frame and let's see the right scale, it's around here. Maybe I'm gonna move it a little bit more up, just like that. Okay, so that's fine. Now I can just click here on window group, select hierarchy. In this way I can press shift D and duplicate just everything. And I'm gonna move this on the other side, just like that. So it's fitting around here. So we are having also the windows around this area and maybe we can add a little bit more details around these parts like let's add some windows uh, some wood around here so yes guys we can add uh, some more planks around these areas here where the windows are and on the doors so let's add another cube there's gonna be just some details around there like i'm putting it right here then let's say for the scale that's gonna be the scale for it let's see how much we are going out something like that let's also apply the scale and another bevel modifier something like that maybe with two segments shade smooth and hard normals just like that and I can add another one on the other side just like that one in the middle and that's gonna be rotated on x-axis 
45 degrees, something like that. And let's just fit it somewhere around here. Then I'm gonna scale on local Z axis until this area, let's say. First off, I'm gonna copy it and move it on the other side and rotate on X axis uh, 90 degrees back. So that's gonna be 45 degrees to just being straight, then another 45 degrees to go on the other way. Just like that. Now it's fitting exactly how I want it. Then let's see, it's not getting out. Let's also apply the scale for this and for this. We can get into edit mode, maybe with only one at a time. Let's also disable proportional editing. And if I'm pressing G, then Z twice. Again, it's gonna go into the local axis. Now here I can just scale it on local Z axis just like that. So they're fitting something like that. Let's also apply the scale just to be sure. I'm gonna select everything from here, then Ctrl J to join everything. And that's gonna go also on the other side. Shift D, then Y, and let's place it carefully like that. So we are having a little bit more detail around here, just something like that. And also maybe I'm gonna add some planks on the door here. I'm just thinking about just getting rid of all of this here. Maybe I'm gonna call another cube just like that. And until this point, let's apply the scale just to be sure. Boolean. Okay. Select this object. Let's see which one it is like that. Okay, I see it's looking pretty good. It's not making any artifacts. Let's select the cube back and uh, I'm just gonna make use of it. Like I'm gonna scale on X axis until this point, then scale it on Z axis around here. Shift A to apply the scale. Let's put a bevel modifier, a small bevel modifier, just like that. Not too many edges. Right now it's fine. I'm gonna add, let's say, three edge loops, just like that. Shift D going on Z axis. Then I'm gonna duplicate that, that again, like this. Now only one it's fitting around here, just like that. Let's select all of them and I'm gonna move the points around. Like, let's select this and that's gonna move something like that. Okay, now I'm gonna move only some points here. We are making a space around this area, then here like that. On this one, maybe I'm gonna go here down, just like that. Here, let's see. GZ, okay. So we are having some small spacings around here. I'm gonna select everything and then Control J. Everything looks good, we are having a little bit more detail. Let's also check the statistics. 22,000 uh, faces, which is pretty fine. So we can leave the model just like that, or maybe if we are having some ideas, if you are finding something, you can also add that to the to the model. As always, you can you can take reference images and you can hear from there what things you can take from there something to, to give you an idea and then apply to to your model like right now I'm thinking about some kind of a fence around here and maybe some stairs around this area so let's let's start it we are beginning with a cube let's say that's gonna be the scale of it I'm gonna place it around here and this cube it's gonna be on X axis right around here. The scale it's applied, yes. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna go to polygon selection and let's see how much I'm going with it. Something like that. So that's not gonna be a complicated stuff. Like it's gonna be a simple shape, not a complicated uh, wood model for a, for a fence. As it's a little bit bigger, we can add a bevel modifier and like let's say three segments for it shade it out to smooth harder normal just like that let's also save because that's the 
that's the best thing to do when we are working with Blender. Okay, then I'm gonna duplicate. Let's go on X axis. I'm gonna rotate on Y axis 45 degrees just like that. Now that's too thick. So I'm gonna go on Y axis just like that. So now you can see why I'm saying always to apply the scale because now the bevel is not uniform. Just check, check out how, how it's gonna look after I'm applying the scale. So now the bevel is uniform throughout the mesh, but we do not need so much. Maybe I'm just gonna leave it flat like that. Let's also duplicate this going on X axis around this point. Scale it uniform, yes. I always want to make sure that I'm having uniform scale. Okay, so this is gonna stay around here. Just like that. Shift D, X, okay. We are going to this point then. Scale on local Z axis until here. Then I'm gonna take this, or maybe only this. Shift D, rotate on Z axis 90 degrees, just like that. Let's see where I'm gonna put it. So around here, then you're going into the middle of it, just like that. Shift D going on Z axis and here we are setting it to 90 degrees, just like that. Maybe this can be as long as the fence keeps going on, so something like that. Shift A to apply the scale. And then here I'm gonna press first of this is gonna be the active, then Ctrl J just like that. Or maybe first off I'm gonna apply the bevel modifier for this for this two. In this way the settings are gonna be kept. Then array, not on this axis but on Y axis. One I guess it's fine, it has to be a little less. Okay, that's enough. So I can duplicate it and move it on the other way around here let's just select this part okay now that's fitting i'm gonna go on to the top view just like that again i'm gonna duplicate this part here and that's gonna stay right around here let's see exactly where i'm fitting perfect shift d going on y axis until this until this point now for this side i can just select all of this and move it on the other way but first of duplicating it just like this let's also duplicate this plank here shift D rotate on Z axis 90 degrees okay and let's fit that around here now I'm gonna enter into edit mode I'm selecting all of these vertices then going on Y axis to this point that's just fine and I can duplicate it and move it on the other way also so we are having a plank also here just like that and let's also do some simple stairs another cube another story begins GX okay scale on Y axis until maybe that's gonna, that's gonna cover like everything from here just like that that's gonna be a bigger plank but still not thick and that's gonna go more outside of the stone just like that let's apply also the scale a little bit further away yes again we are needing a small bevel that's gonna be that's gonna look better to the eye shift d rotate on y axis 90 degrees so the step it's gonna be a little bit smaller like let's say half of it control a to apply the scale then let's see something like that now i can select both of the things and then let's see if i can work it out with an array modifier so also on x one point here a little bit less just like that yep one more time it's enough so these are the stairs let's make also a cover for them around this area uh, so this can be a simple plane so i'm gonna rotate it on y axis just like that let's see how i'm gonna position it scale the thing that's from the from the red line here everything it's gonna be anyways covered by the ground 
so we do not have to be concerned exactly where the, the stairs are finishing if they are not finishing exactly on this area and also this mesh now we can enter into edit mode then go on x axis just like that let's add a edge loop around here and I'm gonna extrude up to this point something like that pretty simple shift D going on Y axis until this point maybe I'm gonna select the edges here then go more on X axis just like that so it's also fitting inside here just like that so that's pretty much the, the result now in the second part I'm gonna cover the unwrapping and texturing of uh, this woods cabin hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you found anything uh, helpful in this uh, video now uh, i will appreciate appreciate so much if you like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel to see more coming thank you for watching bye